So here's a quick little demo on how to add your Google Doc in Canvas so that it makes a copy for your students. They can edit it if it is a Google document or you have created an editable Google slide. And then instead of sharing with you, they will come back to Canvas and submit the assignment. So I've created an assignment called Google Uploads. I go in and I edit the assignment. Here's where you would type all of your directions and I always add the following line on the bottom so that it is a reminder to the students to come back to Canvas and click submit. Um, we have found some students if they click that blue link only uh, more than once, then it puts that many copies in their Google Drive. The first copy that was downloaded to their Google Drive is going to be the copy that they work on. So again, click it only once, it'll save to their Google Drive. When they complete the assignment itself, all they have to do is come back to this assignment on Canvas and click the submit button. So the key to getting it to work like this and actually create a copy for them is to take care of however you're going to assign your points and display grade as. I do mine as complete and incomplete because it doesn't have a weighted system, so I keep all the actual grades in my gradebook. But when you come to submission type, you want to come to external tool. When you do that, it is going to open up um, this box down here on the bottom, click on find and go to Google Drive cloud assignment. When you do that, it's going to take you to your Google Drive. You find the document that you want to um, upload, click submit, and then click su select, which will put it into your Canvas assignment. Then choose your um, available from and due dates. I don't ever put an until date because it'll lock it up and they can't get to it and save. The student will actually see it pretty similar to this, the directions on top, the blue link here, and a view of what the document looks like. That is good for them because if they check that document before they click submit, they know if they've submitted the correct document. Um, but usually it is a blue button, same color as this, over here that says submit. It does not say submit assignments. And um, it will automatically put it into your speed grader with a green dot next to their name. And it'll bump them up the list as students that have completed that assignment for you. I've also changed my notifications to notify me anytime somebody turns in something or submits something. Um, the same thing applies for Google Slides. Instead of the black slide that they get where they have to open editor, it's just going to be a workable document. It's their own copy, so it doesn't affect your copy. And um, the student can edit it um, with text boxes, drawings, whatever. All of my Google Slides, I put the text boxes in for each answer choice for the student. So, and if they delete one, I just tell them to add a text box. Um, this. Um, is how I have been doing them for a couple of weeks now and thought I would share because it has made um, assigning things that students can actually edit without having to print the document out or try to use Cami. Um, so I hope it helps everybody else.